Hi everyone, welcome back to Everything Film Equipment. I'm Brandon, and today we're going to talk about SDI cable. What is the difference between HDMI and SDI? Well, in simplified terms, HDMI is a consumer level cable that can pass through uncompressed audio and video, but it can only go about 50 feet without interruption. Anything beyond that, you would need to get some sort of booster or extension for it. And even at 50 feet, HDMI is a little bit finicky. SDI, however, is a professional grain cable. SDI blew up to 300 feet without needing an amplifier. SDI also has a BNC connector at the end, which allows it to lock, so it's a little bit more reliable than HDMI. SDI also has different formats of cables based on what bit rate you want to pass through it. We'll talk more about that later. SDI has a locking connector, which is called a BNC connector. If you get a mini SDI cable, however, you're going to have something a little more simplified, so it's, as they say, partially locking. And now let's talk about the different types of SDI cables. There's HD SDI, 3G, 6G, and 12G SDI. And what this means is if you take out the G and just use the number, so for example, 3G SDI would be three gigabytes per second, approximately. 6G SDI would be approximately six gigabytes per second. And 12G SDI would be approximately 12 gigabytes per second. So what does higher gigabits mean? Well, it just means that you can get higher quality video feed going through that cable. So HD SDI and 3G SDI would be good for 1080p, whereas 6G SDI and 12G SDI would be good for 4K footage. So now you might be wondering what cable should you get? Well, they both can do uncompressed video and can do about the same bit rate, but SDI has that locking mechanism and is a lot more reliable, especially at longer distances. So you don't have to worry about it coming undone or your feed going on and off. Whereas with HDMI, the cable is a little more finicky or it just flat out comes right out. And that's kind of annoying. So I always like to look at it if you have both options, HDMI is great for short lengths and SDI would be better for longer length. So you might be wondering, you go on a store and you see that someone's selling BNC cable. Well, is it the same as SDI? It's the same sort of format where you're going to be looking for 3G, 6G, 12G. Most of the time when people are saying it's BNC cable, it's going to be 1080p. If it's anything higher than that, normally they will clarify it as SDI cable. So that's it for today, guys. If you want to see some of our recommended cables, check them out in the description for our affiliate links. And if you have any questions about this video, you can leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to stay up to date with our future videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.